quote, easy like a Sunday morning. Yeah, I don't know who said that, but whoever said that was not a mom of two under two. <laughs> oh my word. No, it's okay. We're in the car. I have my maple ice latte and we're on the way. So things are looking up. <laughs> I don't know about you, but like Ivani, my two-year-old, like she's always happy in the morning unless you wake her up. And I guess this morning she was like in a sound sleep. Anyway, if your Sunday mornings are frustrating, I feel you. But I think maybe the solution for us at least would be to, I need to get up even earlier. And I think I need to go on a clothing shopping spree for my kids. I never can get on top of it. I feel like as soon as I have enough clothes for them, they grow and then it's out. And it's just hard to spend money on stuff that they just grow out of so fast. Anyway, but. Oh, she wears the same shoes to go biking and for every day and all that and then she wears the same ones to church because she has nothing that fits her so I think I'm just gonna have to go shopping in the middle of this crazy Christmas rush. Anyway, it's a beautiful frosty morning here in Lancaster County. My name is Megan Fox if you're just finding my channel now and I'm gonna take you along with me today on a Sunday in my life. in church and we just kind of go through the motions and do our thing and make sure we say all the right answers. We're home from church. I don't think I took the time to show you my outfit. I thought I'd do that real quick here before I get into some comfy Sunday afternoon clothes. Um, this sweater was thrifted. This shirt and skirt are both just Amazon finds. And then my shoes here are just from the Inherit Clothing Company. So yeah, that was what I wore to church today. Oh, look at my little guy. <laughs> You're so cute. So this might not look super appetizing, but I'm excited about it. It is turkey gravy and waffles with leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. There's my buddy. There he is! What's up? Boo! <laughs> You're going cross-eyed looking at it. Okay, go fast ahead. Put your feet up. Put, put your feet up. Now put them up on the little steps. Mm, oh my goodness, look at my silly gloves. <laughs> That's all I could find on short notice. I was trying to get out the door quick. There she goes. Bye, Bonnie. Oh, she loves her Strider bike. She's ready for the next size up, I think. Oh, it is such a beautiful day. I was actually going to go running while the kids were taking their afternoon nap, but Josh decided that he wants to go golfing since the weather is so beautiful out. Next week, it's supposed to like rain every single day. You coming, Ivani? Coming? Anyway, it's supposed to just be really cold and miserable. So we said we're both gonna enjoy this weather, but that means we're gonna have to like really, really be busy this afternoon because this evening, I planned a little get together with a bunch of friends. We're actually doing like a craft party. Since my living room is has no furniture in it yet, I thought, oh my word, that space is so perfect. So us ladies are gonna be up in the empty living room and we are going to do some Christmas DIY crafty stuff. And the guys, hopefully, are gonna be down in the basement with the kids. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that all goes, but I have a bunch of food to prepare for that yet. And I still wanna get a little bit of a day of rest in too. Um, I have, I love to sit down and do my little planner. It's just like such a relaxing thing for me to do. Maybe read a little bit. We will see, but I'll take you along for it. Okay, go real, real fast and then put your feet up. Oh, a squirrel went in the hole. Two. Do you think they live in there? Do you see the squirrel? That's so neat. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah. Well, they're all inside now. I don't think you can see anymore. Boo! Yeah. Do you hear the airplane? Are you having fun? 
Yeah, you are. Just wanted to show you here what oranges look and feel like when you leave them in the oven for 24 hours at 170. <laughs> we forgot to turn the oven off. Well, I forgot to turn the oven off before going to bed last night and yeah, they're like wood chips. Oh, I have one batch that survived, but yeah, these did not fare so well. So this is what the living room is looking like right now. It's completely like empty. I'm sure you can hear my voice echoing. And so I'm gonna set up the crafty stuff in here. It's not really much of anything, very simple. I just got these wooden beads off of Amazon. I can link them below. I think you probably saw this all on a video I just did in the past. I did try to dry some oranges, but I don't know why they turned so brown. They're not overdone. They, they actually feel a little bit like jelly in the middle yet, but they're just so brown. So I'm not really sure what happened there. And I wanna go out and get some greenery yet to add to it. Um, in case people want to put greens in their garlands. But yeah, we're just gonna use string here. I hope I have enough. If not, I can find some yarn, I think, in the basement. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I didn't really think this out a ton. I just thought it'd be fun to get together and just make, you know, something decorative that we can use at Christmas time and maybe even all year. But yeah, I will link the video down below where I show how to make these, but <laughs> guys, it's really self-explanatory. And I just put down this butcher paper because it'll keep the table clean and it'll hide the ugliness of the table and it'll be kind of fun. I think I might actually write their names on just for fun. And here's my gold pen I was looking for. It's probably too late to add that now, let's see. Mm, it doesn't really show up. That's okay. Okay, I am here prepping my food and I just wanted to show you this hack and I know you've heard it a hundred times, but it is a hack guys um, and I forgot about it. I just bought some of this Marzetti's Southwest Ranch Dip and I just put it in a dish and so now people are gonna think I made homemade dip. <laughs> I'm not lying guys, I'll tell them that it's bought if they ask, but they might not ask. So let me show you what Josh is doing here. This recipe is amazing, <laughs> I will definitely link it. I can't link it because I invented it. Never mind. I will put it down below. I'll type it up for you guys. But it's basically a bunch of meats. Um, this is Little Smokies wrapped in bacon. We're doing chicken wrapped in bacon. Sausages wrapped in bacon. And you sprinkle it with this brown sugar and like cayenne pepper, cinnamon, bunch of things like that. And then I have this, I have this absolutely amazing dip right here that has like a whole bunch of spices in it, mayo, vinegar, yeah. And you dip everything in this. And I actually think this is one of my favorite foods, but yeah. So I am changed and ready to go, almost. <laughs> There's still a few things I have to do yet, but I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. This scarf is like this awesome, I don't know, rosy, dusky brown color. It almost has some pink in it. I got this from Charlotte Russe, I believe. The shirt is from New York and Company, and then I am wearing an inherent skirt. I like how the ready orange color goes with the scarf. But you know what, the scarf is probably gonna go away as soon as I have to start cooking. Did you give Fletcher a spoon, Yvonne? Did you give him a spoon? This is what my kids eat for supper. <laughs> well, what are you eating, Ivani? Peas. Do you like peas? Just peas, because we're gonna have a feast later on. Right? This is just a little snack. I don't like Jack and Finley. You like Jack and Finley? Yeah. Are you excited for them to come? 
and Jade and Felix and Lance and Clark and Silas and Geneva. Geneva. And Jade, I think I said Jade already. Well, there's an awesome list of baby names for you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are nice names. Oh, and Clara. Okay, we cannot resist. A sweet lady from church gave us this honey wheat bread and Amish schmear. So what do you all think is in Amish schmear? Comment down below. And this stuff here is marked cheese spread, but I think the Dutch word for it is schmear case? Comment down below if I'm right on that. Guess what's in that one now, guys? Ivani, say schmear case. No. I got two packs of bacon in half an hour. So. One toothpaste. Say schmear case. My case. My case. <laughs> I think you swallowed them peas whole. Fletcher, are you swallowing your peas whole? That's enough. And you're holding your spoon like you think you know what to do with it. So I asked them all to bring something sparkling and something chocolate covered. So I set a glass at everybody's spot so we can drink our sparkling grape juice or whatever they bring. And we can snack on our chocolate covered, I don't know what. Josh told them to move the sofas because we want these downstairs and these upstairs. And so he's listing our guests. That is so pretty. Yes, I love it. It's like, it's gonna go with like your house, I feel. I don't know, I really like it. Ivani, what are you doing? Are you wrapping a baby up? The next day and it was a lot of fun um, just relaxing and it was so the guys were so sweet and kept the kids in the basement I know it got they got a little restless there towards the end but then we had supper and that was a little bit of a hiccup there <laughs> Josh told me that he's turning the oven on but I heard him say he's gonna put the meat in the oven anyway I misunder misunderstood him and so for half an hour there was no meat in the oven so yeah supper was delayed about like half an hour and then he stuck some of the meat over in the apartment's oven like the apartment that we own right beside us and it just like obviously it's an old oven it just like burnt the bottoms of the meat but other than that I mean the stuff was still good you just couldn't eat the burnt part on the bottom but <laughs> I feel like whenever you are going to host anything you have to be willing to humble yourself a little bit because there's always going to be a hiccup of some kind <laughs> oh man can you guys hear that it's just like raining out there oh my goodness Oh, it's such a cozy day in here. I'm wearing my cozy sweater. And anyway, I have two things I want to talk to you guys about. Um, one, how the whole idea of fun has changed being a mom. And then two, I kind of have a little bit of a confession to make, um, but I feel like I need to do it, so I'm going to do that too. But first of all, the whole topic of fun. Yeah, I feel like you have to, you can still have fun. You can still have hobbies and have a personality and like enjoy doing things even after you have children. In fact, I think it's a good thing to do. I think it's, I don't know, I just am a better mom too if I have hobbies and take time for my friends and stuff. Tonight I'm actually going to a Bible study with my friends again, so I'm so excited for that. I can't even tell you. Just to sit and chat at a coffee shop with no children around. Guys, it's going to be like water to the soul. <laughs> but yeah, I, th I think you can still have fun as a mom. Like I know back when I was like 22, 23, I did not want to get pregnant and have children. I was just like, you know... Once that ha once I have kids, all fun. There's no such thing as fun anymore. No more laughing, no more fun, right? Um, but you still have fun as a mom. The fun just changes, I found. We do a lot of girls' nights, guys' nights, or, you know, hanging around at home when it's cold outside and, like, playing games or 
like stuff like that because when it's really cold out and your friend has like a newborn or you have like you know a kid with a stuffy nose or something you can't just be out in the cold as quick traveling you can still travel with the kids it's just like a slower pace um, and you have to be super prepared and think ahead and just be flexible which I'm terrible at and be able to roll with the punches because with kids they're not you know near as predictable so you have to just like think of every scenario and how you're gonna react or pre be prepared for that um, but yeah you can still travel you can um, I love to work out beforehand I work out now I just don't I can't go to the gym um, unless I mean I could go to the gym but then I have to find a babysitter or there's gyms that have babysitting around here but they're just expensive <laughs> um, and I don't know if I necessarily trust it so instead of working out at the gym like today I worked out in my basement because it was raining but I like to go on lots of walks and jogs um, my parents have a gym that I can go down to and the mom watches them sometimes but yeah you can still do that it's just a little bit different and I, I put exercise in there because I consider exercising fun and like your fun your idea of fun changes too like you might have thought it was fun to stay up till one in the morning when you're a teenager and you know now that doesn't sound fun to me at all. I'd rather go to bed at a decent hour and get up earlier before the kids are up. That sounds fun to me. So yeah, it's just the circle of life, I guess. But if you are considering being a mom, don't let the whole idea of fun going out the window hold you back from that because I promise you, you can still have fun as a mom. Okay, that was an upbeat little message there. My second thing I wanted to talk to you about was things that you don't see when the camera shuts off. Yesterday, I actually had a really bad day, but I'd already planned to film and I wanted to plow through and I don't know I guess I'll just tell you what happened a little bit my husband and I got into a huge fight and I don't like to fight and argue in front of the children so I didn't want to talk at all and just like clammed up and you know then the kids you know for the sake of the kids I don't want the, I didn't want them to have to hear it and that's not good because communication is really important and I know like a lot of people like well you can talk to each other at bedtime and stuff but it was one of those things that just had to be resolved right then and there not like later on and so yesterday like after I took a walk and stuff that cleared my head a little bit I felt a lot better but <laughs> you didn't see everything that happened yesterday but for the sake of yeah, I still think, even though I put my life out on YouTube, I do deserve a little bit of privacy, but I felt like I did need to confess to you guys. Sometimes you guys will text me and say that you admire me or you look up to me, and you can admire things about my life or parts of me, but you should never just admire me at all, that's for sure, because I'm just one of the most crazy people that I know. Like, I need to get my act together. <laughs> but that's just life, I guess, guys. But I felt like you deserve to know that, and to know that everything you see on my channel is not everything. It's hard to find a balance between being real and also being like positive because I want you guys to come to this space because you just want somebody to do life with you and just yeah to get ideas and things like that and I, I don't want you to ever feel like you have to carry my baggage around with you but anyway all that being said things are much better today and I think we got it worked out but yeah, I just thought you guys did deserve to know. So that brings me to the end of this vlog. I hope you really enjoyed it. Give it a like. That really helps out. Um, I think it helps the computer in the whole YouTube computer to like push it out to more people. So that would be great if you could like it and share it with a friend who th you think might need it as well. So let me know what you guys do differently on Sunday from the other days of the week. And I will catch you in the next one. Until then, catch up on this video here or this one here. And I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.